Hey, what's going on, guys? It's CJ. I'm going to tell you how to create a timestamp on any video. That's right. Create a timestamp on any video and not just one way. I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it. And I'm going to show you something else that you might not even know. All right, pay attention. But before I start, what is a timestamp? So, a timestamp is a time on a video that someone can click on to take them right to the spot that they want to get to whatever it is, a certain event, topic that you want to go right to, you create the time and the person can go right to that video, right to that section of the video. All right, so here we go. Pay attention. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, we're going to go to YouTube Studio. This is the first way that you can do this. I'm going to show you the first way. Go to your videos. Now, I just did a video, a live stream playing Xbox last night. Xbox Live, it was Travis Scott's astronomical Fortnite concert, okay? Now, this was a really long video, and this is a video that I do want to have a timestamp on. It was almost five hours long, literally five hours long, okay? But the concert wasn't. The concert didn't start till 7 p.m. at night. So how am I going to show people where to go right to the concert of the video while I was on there? So you can label it whatever you want, but it's always gonna be the same for the time, okay? At four hours, 15 minutes, and zero, zero seconds. If I don't include the zero, zero, it's gonna take it to four minutes and 15 seconds. That's not what I want. So you have to add in the additional zeros or whatever seconds it would be. Look in your video and figure it out. So four hours and 15 minutes and zero, zero seconds, Travis Scott concert begins. Okay, you can put a dash in there if you want. You don't have to. Now you have to save it. Once you save it, it's set. Okay, here's the beginning of the video. I click on the timestamp. Boom, there it is. All right. Another cool way you can do this is you can comment. You can also comment on my video or someone else's video. It's the same concept. People will be able to click right to that part of the video and they'll get to the concert. Same thing, guys. All right, so another cool thing. Let's say you really want to show a different part of the video or any part of the video. Just if click I take share. you to my past, you will be traumatized. You got to You have to click that start and check mark box. Start at top. Now you have found an actual time for the video itself. Now that's a little different than the timestamp, but that's for you to share with other people that part of the video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can actually set times on these videos if you have a really long video. Now, I don't recommend it if your video is shorter, but if you have a really long one, 10 minutes or whatever, and you want someone to get to a certain spot in the video, then do the timestamp. And if maybe if somebody else that you know uh, likes timestamps, help them out, comment in the video the timestamp. They might like it. All right, guys, hope that helped you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys later.